Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, it is still Saturday. It is still April 3rd, 2021. Um, getting a little bit of snow showery stuff happening here now. So I wanted to give you guys another update here. So I went out, um, I figured, well, let me go to Lowe's. And I wasn't even thinking, obviously, we know tomorrow is Easter. Lowe's is closed tomorrow, so a oh, good thing I decided to go tonight. So what I did, let's show you this over here first. Now I have um, a bunch of rebar already here that was in the back. You can see it's kind of darker and stuff like that. But I picked up uh, 50 more four foot pieces of rebar. So when I do my next raised beds, uh, I do 35 pieces of rebar per bed. So with what I had here before, and the new rebar that I just bought, that'll give me enough to do at least two of the beds. So that was uh, part of my thinking to get that ahead so that I have it because it's, um, a lot of times you'll go into Lowe's and they'll be completely out of the four foot rebar because somebody's got whatever project going and they grab it. Now there was still a whole bunch left when, <laughs> when I left, but I, I grabbed 50 of them today and I'll definitely some point soon grab another 35. But I'm going to go in here real quick. So I wanted to show you something too. So of course I'm talking to my buddy Eric uh, down in, uh, he's in D.C. So, uh, let's see, where are we at here? Okay, uh, blueberries. All right, here we are. So for $6.99, you get that little bitty stalk of a blueberry bush, right? So I did pick up six of those at Tractor Supply. So I went to Lowe's today. And for, and you know, Eric, this was at Eric's suggestion, so he gets all the credit for this. He says, Ed, you go down, you get the more mature plant, these ones, right? Uh, $12.98, so 13 bucks. You'll get blueberries this year. This will be, these will be a couple years before I get blueberries off of them. So I was like, you know what, I'm an, I'm an idiot. Uh, so I went to, to Lowe's and I picked up six Blue, more more blueberry bushes so I have six more mature bushes um, these ones here you know they will take a while to grow but these ones here I will get something off of them this year and actually I'm going to show you where I'm going to end up putting um, these ones here I'll go outside in a moment but uh, and then Becky and mom had gone today and they got some flowers um, they wanted to have something that would attract the bees into the greenhouse so they picked up the flowers today so that's this 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 one here and these guys here so we'll plant them we'll leave them inside the greenhouse and uh you know they'll be good to go so yeah so that's um that's that so uh, i did get the six more blueberry bushes i was happy to get those today uh, and uh, they still had a bunch, a bunch that were there. So, I, you know, it wasn't like they were running out anytime soon. But again, you get something, you can go either way. So for seven bucks, I could go here, or I get one that instead of waiting a couple of years before I get produce, uh, for, you know, d like basically double the price, I'll get something this year. So that was just my mistake. I wasn't thinking. Um, when I got them because we just happened to be in tractor supply and I'm like, yeah, let's grab these, let's grab that, let's grab the other thing. So, uh, but that's, uh, so these are going to get into the ground soon now. Um, now that we get through today and it's raining, rainy kind of snow mix right now, uh, we get through that and then we're going to get into, you know, the warmer weather moving forward here. So uh, I don't even know what the low's going down to tonight, but it's not going to be as cold tonight as it was last night. And I don't even think there was rain in the forecast, to be honest with you. But, uh, oh, I got a couple of the boys here I'm ready to go in. And I just got back, so that's why I'm kind of doing this video semi, semi in the dark. So some in, some out. <laughs> um, so anyway, what I'm going to do, let me show you over here. So when they, uh, had to dig the trench, uh, for the gray water system. So that had to be a trenched, had to be trenched up through here. This blueberry bush that is here, that's kind of hanging up there, was here. So what I'm going to do with these other six bushes, I'm gonna, you know, I gotta get this move back over here, 
get that so it's replanted. Um, and then I'm going to put the other six mature ones in this area. And I think that I may uh, farther up put the newer ones. I'm not 100% sure uh, exactly where I'm going to put the, the young ones. But I want the mature, more mature ones in this area. Because these grew great here. It's kind of rocky soil. And they do really, really well in that for whatever reason. I don't know. But um, so that's where they're going to go. And uh, so, yeah, so these ones here were smaller when we bought them, and they've matured, and it has taken a couple of years. But uh, so now we're going to have, you know, we're going to have 12. We have the two um, here right now, six more mature, more mature uh, blueberry bushes, and then, you know, we'll have the, uh, the other ones as well. So we'll have a good amount of blueberry bushes in this area. So I don't know, like I said, I may just, this whole thing in this whole area just load this area up so all 12 plants may go in here uh, spreading out the mature ones a little bit more you know we'll see but uh, this is what I'm going to utilize this spot for we obviously have the fruit trees over here uh, plum tree plum tree uh, peach and peach and we got peaches off of both of these trees last year so that was absolutely awesome um, that was the first year that we got peaches off those trees. So I was really, really happy about that. Um, I'm going to be getting more uh, fruit trees this year as well. Uh, I'm going to be buying more mature fruit trees. I don't want to have any more that, again, my mistake has been in the past, is buying the small little spindly ones um, and not buying the more mature trees. So, um, you know, that's why last year I got the uh, four trees last year, the fast-growing trees. You know, I got them last year, so uh, they were more mature, and uh, we'll see how they do this year. But, uh, you know, we're just going to, every year, continue to add, put things in here that are going to produce for us, uh, make our homestead better, make it more viable, uh, self-sufficient, and stuff like that. And that's what it's about. So, uh, that's where we're at. But uh, So, I was trying to be productive to a point today. <laughs> so, I'm like, I got to get down to Lowe's and get that, you know, get ready. Um, so what I'm going to be doing as well, I have the one pallet of concrete block here. Uh, I need to order two more pallets. And it's 90 blocks in a pallet. Okay, so uh, I talked to them down at Lowe's and a guy said, well, the guy that does that normally is not here today. He goes, you can do it online. So it doesn't matter if I do it online or not do it online. That's fine. I'll do it online. Uh, order it, have them bring it. They'll deliver it. They'll bring the pallets right here and I'll put them wherever I want them to put them. So we're going to definitely be doing that as well. Uh, you know, so again, now like this area in here, we can utilize this for growing as well because that's going to be more open. So I actually might, because these are kind of shaded, or it's shaded over here because of these trees. But uh, actually, if I want to, I might actually put the uh, blueberry bushes in here because it's going to get a lot more sunshine. I might do that because I don't want this to be a dead space. I want it to be, you know, utilized. So... I could do that. That would be very cool. So I may do that. We'll see. Thinking out loud, guys, I, I apologize. It's what I do. My brain is always going in uh, 800 different directions at the same time. But uh, so I've got the dogs out right now for a moment for a run, a potty run. And then uh, as soon as I get done with this video, I will get them back in the house. But uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, just, um, you know, it's always something. <laughs> it is always something, but uh, just uh, trying to get our way through, and the warmer weather is, you know, like I said, it's it's coming up here. It's going to be better all through the week, and uh, so a little, little rain never hurt nothing, right? April showers bring May flowers, as they say, so uh, hopefully it doesn't continue into tomorrow, and we can have a decent day and, and get some things done, but... Uh, Oh, um, I'll give you guys the egg count for today, too. Today they slacked off on me. Uh, we only ended up with seven eggs today. So, hey, you know, it happens. Had, uh, you know, 13 two days ago. Uh, nine, was it nine or ten yesterday? It's nine or ten, I can't remember what it was. But anyway, it was nine or ten yesterday. And, uh, you know, seven today. So, that's all right. We'll take it. Whatever they decide to give us each day, we're just thankful to have it and... You know, we go for there. Oh, I do have to give you guys an update. So, I had one of my white chicks out here, one of the babies. Um, and I, you know, every morning that I come in, I, I do a head count. I check them, make sure everybody's okay. And everybody was fine this morning. I came in. And the one chick, um, one of the white chicks, 
was kind of, uh, she was smaller than all the rest. Uh, had kind of weird colorings on her back. And so I don't know if something was wrong with her or whatever. But the other little chickens killed her today. Uh, so I don't know what that was about, to be honest with you. And so, uh, unfortunately, we now are down to seven white chickens, babies, and seven of the, uh, of the you know, the darker ones. So uh, out of 16 original chickens, you know, we lost one early. We lost one of the dark ones early. And, uh, you know, I thought, okay, now we're good. We got the 15. But for whatever reason, there must have been something wrong um, with that chick. Because the other chickens just absolutely brutalized her today. I mean, and when I say brutalized, I mean she was stomped flat. So I don't know what happened, to be honest with you. Uh, I came in there this morning and, and everybody was fine. And when I came back out this evening, uh, she was dead. Or she or he, whatever it was. I don't even know what, what it was. But uh, So unfortunately, that is what happened. Um, so we're down to 14 there, plus the uh, you know five hens in the house. And the hens in the house are doing great. No issues with them whatsoever. So that's a good thing. Um, you know, so that's, that's where we're at. Uh, you know, we're just going to keep letting them get a little bit bigger before we put them in with the flock because they're obviously still too small. And uh, then the other ones will go on this side once we transport them into the main flock. So it'll be, you know, we'll have adjustments going. But by default, uh, I should have a tremendous amount of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> even more so than I already have but uh, so that's where we're at guys uh, so I am going to jump off here because it's probably getting dark to see and uh, you're probably like going I can't see nothing anymore but uh, so anyway remember guys we are all in this together we are one race called the human race uh, it's so important I think people need to stop with all this nonsense uh, I had somebody on the channel today race baiting I'm talking about a very serious issue today of suicide and some Yahoo wants to come in there and make it all about race. And I'm like, it had nothing to do with the context of what we were talking about. So, but, uh, you know, some people just, uh, they can't let things go. Uh, they just love to be the victim. So that's kind of sad. But we need to stop that. We need to focus on working together, be, regardless of race and religion. And that's what we really, truly need to be doing. Also, remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. I'm. You give me a minute. Give me a minute. I will. Get, I'm going to get you out of here in a second. That's why I'm standing here. <laughs> um, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Uh, you know that's real important as well. Last but not least, STD. Step, thing, and day. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that is going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? Uh, I hope everybody's doing fantastic. I really do. I hope you have a wonderful Easter tomorrow. Um, obviously, you'll see me tomorrow. I will be live streaming tomorrow night as well. So I just hope everybody has a great day. All right? Be safe. Uh, don't drink and drive. Real important. I'll talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.